kind of pumped about the bench press. For some really excited to bench and walk in here. It's all over. All this is really good. It's that 24, I'm just saying. Man, I feel official, Kyle. That thing you're holding is crazy looking. <laughs> anyway, yo, June 10th, 2017, about six in the morning, a little after six in the morning, heading to go get Tyler Treadway. Got Kyle, got Jared, because we're doing the NASA Power Sports Division down in Springfield, Ohio, which is, get this, strict curl, bench press with a pause, just like a normal meet, and deadlift. I used to do these meets back in like 2006. They're a lot of fun. They're a little bit broed out, but we're all pretty excited. Zero expectations on what the curl is gonna be because none of us have really practiced it. Although I did have it programmed and get stack 23 just to kind of get back into it. But it'll be interesting. Kind of want to bring you guys along for the ride today and uh, just go have fun with us. So I'm hoping for some PRs. You just never know on meet day who's gonna show out. So should be a lot of fun and uh treadway was cutting weight so we'll see if he's uh if he's grumpy or not but i feel pretty good because i weighed uh 180 and a half hopefully their scale is the same but at the end of the day what's what i'm always you know i'm always testing stuff so what i'm testing today is this will be the lightest that i've ever went to any type of meat because with anabolic fasting you know and a lot of guys cut weight for 24 hour weigh-ins um, I normally, when I make 181, when I went elite at 181, which was a 540, 325, 40, um, I weighed 195 Monday, weighed 181 for like one second, and then weighed 202 and I lifted. That would be the power lifter version of 181. Now what you're getting is the guy who shoots cover magazines 181, which is, or bodybuilding, which is a whole different guy. I'm walking around at 181, I'm gonna do my first ever two hour weigh in, uh, which means I'm not gonna have a chance to bloat up. And for you guys that don't understand what that is, when we bloat up for meats, you retain so much water that your body just feels like damn near invincible. It's not something you can do on a regular basis, but there's a trick of the trade, right? Which I talk about on my website at Corey G Fitness. But today we're basically weighing in, we have two hours, we're gonna lift, we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm excited. So get ready, boy. Get ready. Who is that guy? Tyler Treadway. I heard you've got an amazing curl that you're gonna display today. I do not have an amazing curl. But you I'm do look like you're Gregory, so that's all that matters. Yeah, you look like you're light, though. I'll tell you that. Tyler, how much weight you cut? Uh, did you weigh one now? I started at 92. And going and made it to 181. Two hour weigh in. What are you about to eat? Animal crackers. Yes. That'll soak up some, some fluid. That's a good call. So I brought like bacon beef jerky just because it's got a million grams of sodium in it. I brought some Oreos just in case. Yeah, I just in you. case. I'll, 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 because we don't deadlift till later, so I might be able to blow it up a little bit. And I brought some bananas and then some Powerade Zero. I'm gonna put some post workout in it. Double, double, uh, double whammy. In. So we'll see. It's completely uh, uh, guinea pig status. I got no clue. I got uh, some Sour Patch Kids. Nice. So, I don't know really. I guess uh, there's no sodium in Sour Patch Kids. Huh? Tons of sugar though. Yeah. There you go. Like, I'll probably crash, but yeah. I was like, I need something quick. Because I thought yeah, yeah. about like, just like doing clean like banana, but I don't know if it'll hit me that quick. No, you, not with cutting 10 pounds. I yeah. mean, I didn't cut anything, so yeah. I can eat a little bit. I think if you were cutting like you are, you got to get something in you. You're, de you're depleted, so whatever you take is just going to go. I'm going to feel Yeah. I hope my, it makes my head feel better. Yeah. It should. I heard Sour Patch Kids do that. Yeah. They always make me feel better. <laughs> I got a couple of power aids too. There you go. Yeah, boy.
Scoot Eliminate post workout. Yeah. Yo, so we just got to the uh, venue. I gotta tell ya, it's in the fucking basement. It is sick. Look around this way, Kyle, and show some of the fucking. So here's the setup for the platform. Uh, I mean, with the exposed pipes and shit. Are you kidding me? It's unreal. Here's what is important though. Here's the curl. Here's the curl setup right here, Tyler. You ain't ready for this. World records going down. <laughs> The gym itself is 40,000 square feet. It's pretty raw. Some 80s music. I mean, look at Dude, this makes me want to look for a, when I go to the next old medium bigger place, I want to get a place that's stacked like this. Sick. Third the first time Yeah. I'm guessing uh, Louis did patent this one. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Hold me. Yeah, for sure. This is it. Sorry, dude. Yeah, probably. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Do you know this rail system that they used to have? Just expand this. I mean, the platform, this place is sick. I really like this old school squat stand. I didn't build me one like this. But at least it's not. That's like a legit head component. Let's see. They're doing that school squat stand. NASA, it's NASA hyphen sports, which is a drug free organization that we went to compete at really cool venue um, For some reason my shoulder was fucking jacked up today. I tried my best to get it active I fucking did I was doing I was lifting in between the fucking flight like trying to get pumped up trying to get a move It just wouldn't work. But anyway, we're gonna start with the guys first Kyle who's behind the camera give him the give him the peace sign Kyle Kyle did Check this out. A high school at what, 148, right? Yeah, 148. American record, 443. 
Uh, 437. 437 pound deadlift, which is pretty damn awesome. And also, um, that that takes off the. Uh, does that take Carpenter off the board? Does yeah. It, take off the uh, board? it takes me off the board. Oh, okay. and he breaks his own record, yeah. his own old school gym record, uh, which is pretty pretty important to the crew and just the members at the old school to be on the board. So good job, mm-hmm. Kyle. Uh, my nephew Jared, back in the back, first meet, pulls uh, 248. 248. I taught him how to deadlift, uh, basically uh, about an hour before. So that's pretty good. Never sumo deadlift before. Pulled 250, weighing 131. First meet ever. Pretty cool. Tyler Treadway, <laughs> aka DJ Deep Squat. He uh, he does a what hundred and what'd you curl? Uh, 143. 143 pound curl, 297 pound bench. They didn't have a good. They wouldn't let us put our feet up in the air, not in the air, but on our toes. We'd put them flat. It actually screwed us up pretty bad. Uh, and then um, pulled 507, which is a record in power sports in the state. Power sports being those three. Myself, I did 154 pound curl, a 280 <laughs> bench. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm blaming that on I can't put my feet up and that uh, my shoulder hurt like hell. And then pulled 485. I weighed in at my lightest ever, 178. Or uh, Tyler weighed uh, 175, which is good. Um, I, I gotta say, I don't like two-hour weigh-ins <laughs> at all. I don't know if I'll sign up to do that again. I basically did not want to drive last night to make weight, um, and so I didn't do my normal pizza and junk load to where I weigh like 10 pounds more. I definitely felt the difference. All you Olympic lifters out there that only have two-hour weigh-ins, I feel for you. Never experienced that before. Um, overall, I think like considering I've had a few little injuries, like pulling 4, 485, I, I might have been able to pull 500, not bad. Um, I'm really getting ready for the OPBA, which is September 2nd, where I'm doing bodybuilding on a Saturday, powerlifting on a Sunday. So this is kind of everything, kind of heading towards um, a couple more shoots that I have, keeping my weight lower and getting ready for that in September. So this was just a really cool, fun thing. I, they had the, the weights split at 181, lifted up to 181, lifted today, 181 and above, lifted tomorrow. I think we would have more guys that did it. But overall, it was a cool venue. I think we'll go back. It was a lot of fun. Everybody got first or second place. Actually, yeah, Jared, you got second place, right? First, you get place. first place. I got second place. Everybody else got first place. You fucking kidding me? And so this is good for me because I, I've been working on my bench press. Actually, I was the most excited about bench press going into this. I learned a lesson though. Because my bench is sketchy, to say the least, I fucking handled 275 and 295 on a triple pause on Tuesday. Jake, wire in that shit so they know I'm not lying. I should have done better today, but I need to not bench the week of the meet so my left shoulder feels better. And so I learned something from that today. I learned that I don't like two hour weigh ins. And uh, I learned that I like curling in a contest. I don't know if Treadway will do curl again. Who yeah, knows? To you. But yeah, I'm going to curl probably 170, weigh in like 170 though. So that's coming because I think I got that in me. So I had a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. Yeah.